Greetings! This is the instrument sidekick video for the alto saxophone, page 10. Embouchure, lip muscles. Embouchure, lip muscles. Do not pronounce this embouchure, lip muscles. No, <laughs> they're embouchure, lip muscles. Okay, embouchure and lip muscles. This one is extremely, extremely important page here. All right. These muscles that are around your lips are called the embouchure. All right. This is the embouchure. All right. And obviously your embouchure has to be just right to blow into the saxophone. You don't just stick it in your mouth and blow. <laughs> it is more advanced than that. And it will be easy for you eventually. But at first it's going to be a little difficult and a little complex to remember what to do. But it's very important you get into a good habit early on. So you're always doing it right after that. Once you get the good habit down, it'll be pretty easy just to uh, get things going. All right, so first issue is when we bring the saxophone up, the reed is underneath here, okay? And as I mentioned before when you were holding the reed, is that your teeth are meant to break things. And that reed is extremely breakable. So probably not a good idea to go, Err, all right? You do not want to bite that reed, okay? So what we got to do to protect from breaking that reed is to take our lower lip and let it cover our lower teeth. Cover the lower teeth, okay? Now, there is no reed on the top, and you're gonna find that it's absolutely 100% necessary to have your upper teeth touching the mouthpiece. So your upper teeth aren't covered. So do not cover both teeth, okay? Do not not cover both teeth, huh? All right, you got to cover the lower teeth and not the upper teeth. Huh, okay. Creating a nice flat little area here to rest this uh, reed against. Huh, right there, all right. So your upper teeth come down, your lower lip is going to be covered. Next issue, as you put it in your mouth, is the average student puts way too much in their mouth, okay. The mouthpiece, there does not need to be a lot of mouthpiece in your mouth, okay? And I'll see students put this way too far in their mouth, and that's going to create a really bad sound, a uh, really squeaky sound. It's not going to be good, all right? So your lower lip, like this, our teeth, only put a little in your mouth, huh? Okay, it's, the saxophone's a little too low for me. I felt I needed to come down a little bit, so I'm going to raise this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so your back needs to stay straight, and if the saxophone doesn't come up to your mouth right here, okay, then if you're coming down to it, or if you've got it too small and it's coming up near here, all right, adjust it, all right? Don't sit it on your lap. Do never, ever, ever rest it sitting on top of your lap. It kind of rests on the side, but it's not being held up by the lap. There's nothing underneath holding the saxophone, all right? Saxophone's going to go past your body, and therefore, you hold it up with the strap, with your neck. So if you're not sitting up properly, then you've got to adjust this so you can sit up properly and then bring this up. All right? So, your lower lip is covered. Huh? Now, you may need to lick the reed every once in a while. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. Keeping it wet is very, very important. Things that are wet do dry. All right, that's what happens when they are just out in the air, right? So you have to keep it wet once in a while because I told you it won't work unless that's wet. So every once in a while, you got to go, no, you got to lick it. All right, now lower lip, a little bit in my mouth, upper teeth do touch the mouthpiece, okay? Your upper teeth do touch the mouthpiece, okay? If I do not, and I go like this, and then the... Even with my mouth closed, the mouthpiece is moving all over my mouth, okay? And that is not good, all right? So you got to have this and this underneath to keep it from moving side to side, okay? You don't want the mouthpiece moving all over the place. You want it right in the center, huh. okay? Next, you cushion all the areas around the mouthpiece with your embouchure. So you have the lower lip, 
teeth against it, then cushion, smile. Okay? And then the other thing that usually confuses people besides having it too far in their mouth is that you have to drop the jaw. Okay? Your upper teeth stay against it. Your lower lip stays against it. But you drop your jaw down so your lower teeth are not pressed against your lip. They are against it. Okay? Your lower lip is cushioning the reed, but your lower teeth do not press up against that lip. It drops away. Okay? So think of it like pointing your jaw down towards your left hand here. Oh, oh. All right? So you're like this. You're going to bring your lips around to smile. Ooh. And then you drop this. Oh. Okay? So it has weird oh, look. Okay? Kind of like when you yawn. Oh. Oh, that this is rolled in a little bit more, okay? Oh. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. It is important to smile, okay? And you drop that jaw. If you're not pressing any fingers when you do that, okay? Remember, not too much in your mouth. Lick, lower lip, upper teeth, smile, drop your jaw, and then you can cushion your lips and blow really hard without pressing any keys. <sighs> you can get a sound. Now, it wasn't a great sound. What's going to make that sound better is if I start the note by touching the tip of my tongue to the tip of the reed. Hip of my tongue, huh? To the very tip of that reed. It's in my mouth, okay? So I just kind of touch it with my tongue going thoo, 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 okay? So you have lower lip, upper teeth, smile, cushion, then use your tongue saying thoo to make the sound. Okay, don't forget to drop the jaw. If you have too much in your mouth, you'll get... Okay, and that won't sound good. Too little in your mouth, you won't get any sound because it's not in your mouth. Okay, just a little bit in your mouth. Now, if you have it too low like this... Okay, if you're too low, it will be the wrong note that comes out. It'll sound like a totally different lower note. All right, so you got to have this adjusted so it's right up to your mouth. Okay, don't be afraid to get right up there and have your back straight. Okay, you should not be bent down like that. All right, I get a lot of people forgetting the upper teeth thing and they just hold it with their lips. Hole, like, hole. I don't even know how they get a sound, but they often do, but it's the wrong sound, okay? So, hoo, hoo. don't let your cheeks puff out. You're smiling, so don't let your cheeks puff out. You can't smile and puff out your cheeks, okay? Don't go, okay? I get a lot of people huffing, okay? Instead of going, thoo, 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 they go, hoo, 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 hoo. all right? All not good. It'd be thoo, 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 thoo. All the time, my fingers are in the right place, just not pressing anything. Rest position. Ready position. Rest position. All right. So, work on the embouchure and being able to make a sound, okay? Not worrying about any particular note. Just being able to make the sound, finding the right embouchure. One thing that'll help is looking in a mirror. So trying to use the pictures that you see of Mr. Archie in this book, looking at those pictures and looking in the mirror to see if you look right. All right. Uh, another thing could be the video on your Chromebook. All right. Usually the video works similar to a mirror. So I'm looking at that, but you can see yourself in a mirror fashion. All right. And you can make adjustments as you go. Um, good luck with that. See what you can do. Don't forget there is going to be Zoom meetings. So if you have difficulty trying to make a good sound, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see you in the Zoom meeting and be able to tell you what you're doing that's not working and help you fix that problem. So don't worry that if it doesn't sound quite right first thing, we're going to get it. We're going to figure it out. Uh, sometimes it just takes a little bit of practice and sometimes it takes uh, a music teacher seeing you and helping you out. Okay. So if you have difficulty with it, don't worry. It's still great practice to learn how to put the instrument together and how to hold it right and how to clean it and put it away. Um, 
and we'll get the sound eventually. All right. So good luck with that. And if you are getting sound, great. Practice it. Don't forget that too. And may the force be with you. <laughs>